Hello, 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 Facebook, um, and I will upload this on YouTube as well, and so I really, um, I have a screen share that um, I'm, I'm, I'm able to share a screen share account with this client, so let me know if, if you can hear me. And I was just going back and forth today, contemplating um, exactly how I would show these um, updates on this client's credit report because the, uh, make sure my hair is fixed, it's impossible for me to um, share the updates on all the platforms that I go live on, like Instagram, Periscope. I usually go live all at the same time, right? And so I said, I said, well, I'll just go live on Facebook because I can always um, save it. I'm trying to fix my hair. Save it and upload it to YouTube at least because I didn't really want to, um, like, Photoshop it. I wanted you all to see live, right, these results because there's so many people Photoshopping results these days, Um and so the client logged in for me. We have a screen share account. Now, so I'm going to flip my screen and then I'll flip it back to me once anything in the, um, the client's name or something is being revealed. So I want you to look at this credit score and you'll probably be thinking, well, uh, let me see. Let me take this. Okay. You're probably thinking that's not a high credit score, right? I want you to look at the date. And you're probably thinking, wow, that, that credit score sucks. But I'm going to show you. Um, now, let me flip this screen before I want to show you all of the major charge offs and collections that was um, that's deleted. So I'm not sure if they're going to show the name as I'm clicking. So I want to make sure I flip the screen for uh, client confidentiality reasons. Right. Um. So let me let me pull everything up today and you're going to see all uh, of the major charge offs accounts that were del that are deleted off this credit report. There's some new disputes that came in today. And I'm going to show you what the credit score looked um, looked like live. And so you 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 can't deny um, the results. Right. You, you won't be able to deny the results and you won't be able to say that I'm screen, um, you know, shopping or or things like this. So this is the best way that I could do it, because if I would have shared my screen and did live, I could only do it on one platform. So this way I have the opportunity to do it on uh, upload it on YouTube as well. Right. OK. So let me flip the screen. Uh, let me stroll down because it's showing the person's name. Okay, so you're going to see the date generated, February 6th. I'm hiding the report number for confidentiality. And these are the only negative accounts still on this client's report, right? Um, but I'm going to show you, again, this is the date. These are the only, and two of them are still under dispute, right? So let me go back, and you'll see the initials are here, right? I'm going to pull this client's report from when they start um, working with me. And you're going to see all of the negatives that were on this client's reports. So let me go to reports and scores, credit reports. Um, you're going to see here showing report for today's day, February 6th. So let me go to a 2019 date. Um, when they started with me a 2019 of last year, right? Again, I know you're probably saying that 539, but I'm going to show you the the progress of what was on this account. So 
take it back to, I think they started with me in the summer of 2019. So let me look at July of, um, July of 2019. Get this hair situated. Print report. And I'm about to go live again. I'm talking about the FICO 10. So if you want to join me on YouTube, after I upload this credit report, you can. So let me get to the date. Again, this, this is really hard to do without showing uh, any of the client's information. So just hold, just stroll, roll, roll with me. Uh, and then when I flip the screen, I'm going to make sure nothing is shown. All right, so I'm going to look at one, let's say July. I, I did, I, the name was above here, so I left the name out. Scroll down, July of 2019. This was the charge I was reporting on this client's report for $12,000. I need someone who's watching live. Just help me out if you're not driving or anything. Keep up with the, the balances. So this was a $12,000 charge off on the same account, right? Uh, let me stroll down. Let me make sure that it won't show their name. So I just hold this up so you can watch it. I'm watching basketball to the next account. So you see that charge off, right? Okay, it does show the name here. That's why when I stroll down to the next account, the name is here. You will just see the date reported. So this was the second charge off. So somebody that's watching live or if you watch this on the replay, keep up with the numbers for me. It's the second charge out there was reporting. I get the dates uh, for $4,711. So we got $12,000 and a $4,000. Now look, Barclays Bank charge out. So let me flip the screen because when I go to the next slide um, down, you will see the name. So there's American Express and it's Barclays, right? American Express and Barclays. So now let me change the screen again. You'll see the next chart. I, it was, oh, maybe still got, I didn't hide the name. Okay, so, oh, the name is still showing. Hold on, let me start, okay. This was the third charge off, another Barclays, $3,456, right? Look at the dates. $3,456. All right, let me show you the next charge off. All of these are the major banks. The major banks. The next charge off is Capital One. I'm not worried about the account number. They don't uh, have the full account number anyway, so there's no breach of privacy. Capital One was 4000 $169. So what you watching is live on the replay. I've lost count of the, the charge off balances. I, I know it's over $20,000 at this point. We got two Barclays, uh, Capital One, American Express. And I know it's going to be a Wells Fargo on here too. Okay, another charge off. Um, this one did not have an account balance. But it does have its credit one, right? I'm not talking about very simple um, charge offs. Oops, I think I hit the wrong button. So then we have capital one charge off. But fortunately, this one did not have a balance, right? So somebody that's watching me live, how many charge off is that? Um... Credit One, Two Barclays, American Express, and Capital One. So that's five charge-offs, and we're over $30,000 charge-offs, right? We're over $30,000. Then you have another charge-off, Discover. All of these are major banks. 
discover $6,849. So again, if somebody is watching this live, type in the balances that I'm, I'm calling out. This is one customer's account. Um, another chart where well, this is a collection and I think lending club is still showing, right? I think we're still at the point where I think when I showed you our lending club is still remaining. This is a collection for 12,000 and that's the lending club collection. So I think at this point, lending club is still reporting, but we'll go back and see. I think it was lending club. And then, um, I think Amaz, I think this one is under dispute right now. Excuse my nails. Uh, it's kind of hard doing all this. Okay, hey Nana. Nana, can you keep up with these numbers? You might came too late. Um, you might have to watch the replay. But this is a um charge off for Amazon. $3,675, right? All right, so I always have to flip the screen because when I scroll down to the next page, the top of the page shows the customer's name. Okay, so then I know American Express is on here. I think, I think I already said American Express. All right, another charge off. We're over, I know, $50,000 now. Walmart. Another charge off Walmart. $8,000, right? So this is all on one um, credit profile. The most challenging uh, credit report that I've ever done. To date. To date. All right, another charge out. Uh, the balance, $4,974. This was Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. And you see the dates on here. Um, they started with me June of 2019. So you see the dates. I know we're over $60,000 in charge offs and collections, but these are major. These are Wells Fargo, American Express, Credit One, Capital One, right? These are a major, major charge off. These, these, these are not small companies. And then you got Amazon. Okay, now we have another collection. That's reporting. Um, the balance is, uh, excuse my nails, LVNV funding. The balance is $756. Collection, look at the date. Okay, this is all on one client profile. So if you're watching live or in the replay, do me a favor and tell me how many charge offs and collections have I shown you this much. And keep up with the balances, right? I, I know I'm over $60,000 right now. I'll just charge off in collections. All right. Another collection. Second round. Second round. The balance, $9,152. Collection. Um, see the date reporting, June 2019. This is when this client started with me uh, the summer of last year. All right, now they have just some inquiries showing. So now I'm going to show you the same credit report. And this is the one that I told you that I, I, the, the client came very impatient and rude. Um, so let me go back. And I took 30 to 45 days out from even working on their credit. Actually, they told me, you know, you can just keep my money. I'll find somebody else. But after 45 days of, you know, just I just said, let me help this person because I know what I do. So let me flip the screen again. And here is your experience report. I'm hiding their name. So you see July 20th, the score was a 513. Um, this was the date that I just recently took you out through. So let me just show this side. So I'm going to show today's date, which is February the 6th, and I'm going to go to print report. I'm going to move it just to make sure, okay, it's not showing a name. It's actually pulling up the report. 
right? So we're going to stroll down and look at the, what's, uh-oh, I think it's showed tonight. Um, what's on their current report as of February the 6th? So you can't say, I just, you know, I want to show you that this is real. I'm not falsifying information. I'm not doing Photoshop. So we're going to look at this person's credit report now versus then. Um, what was kept on there? I'm hiding the name. The Amex for $11,000 is showing all green in good standing. Right? So you saw the American Express previously. This is what but what's currently showing. Um, and we still, or I'm still, we have to, the Discover is still showing as they changed it from charge off to not information. So, well, the payment status still show charge off. So the Discover account, right, uh, is still showing the balance is 6849 So that one account with Discover is still showing um, the one Amazon account. Let me try. The Amazon it's still showing as a charge off as of today's date. But look at the difference of the status. Now they have no data, right? So I tell people this, but it's still the payment status is still showing as a charge off. Count is closed, but it's still being up. All of these are being updated from what I showed you originally. And so it's just still some work to do. Um, but other than that, all the rest of the, oh, okay, we have this second round. They had, mid, I didn't show you, it would also have four Midland funding collections that have been deleted. Um, this 9,100, the pro, the, the, it has changed to end, right? But they're still reporting it. They're still reporting it, but it's not shown as a collection as I showed you previously. And then that's it. This, this is this is all on this person's uh, credit profile at this time. This this is it. This is the end of it. This is the end of the person's credit report. Today, that's it. No public records, nothing. All of that information is gone. And this is a screen share. Uh, a client is very. I mean, we're we're fine now. Um. And so very happy, ecstatic about the results. But I want to tell people when your credit condition is, is in this step, getting someone to do you a credit sweep. And that's what I'm going to talk about, the new FICO. Uh, getting someone to do you a credit sweep and all of this neg negative information can reappear after 45 days and or you can land in jail by falsifying that you are a victim of identity theft and completing a FTC report. See, you don't have to complete a, a uh, police report. You can complete an F, and this is a badge on my neck. I get so sore from typing. You can complete an FTC report and still get federal imprisonment for personating identity theft. So did anyone, and if, if you didn't have the time, if you didn't have the time to add up all of those account balances, it was well over $100,000. And this to date is the only thing that this person, I'm in the um, dispute center, right? And it does not show the entire name. So I hide the report ID. It's today's date. And Discover, Lending Club, Second Round, and Amazon. And we still have Second Round and Amazon. Um, it was another collection I called out that still showed on the credit report, but they're not, they don't have it on here, so it might be deleted as well. That's it. After all of these um, disputes, 
all of this and then so let me show you one more thing then i'm logging out i may not go live again i really want to talk about the fico 10 but i have i may not go live on facebook to talk about that just periscope instagram and youtube so because i promised my followers that i would uh, had a lot of questions about that oh let me show you this last last thing and so if you follow me on youtube get 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 on my youtube live in a few minutes and probably about five minutes these are some account dispute updates i'm gonna show you this like um Let's see this. Okay, so yeah, I don't think it's showing. It's not. So this is just showing now what's what's what. That the second round is still is under dispute. I uh, think Discovery is still under dispute, and that Amazon. Other than that, this is our pay. This is our positive pavement history. That's it. So over 13 charges, because it was four Midland funders on here that um, I didn't get to show you. So it was American Express, um, Credit One, Capital One, Bank of America. I mean, Barclays, I'm sorry, twice. Barclays was twice. Um, Discover still has a charge off in this beauty. Amazon, Walmart charge off. Um, Credit One, Capital One, had some Wells Fargo, and this July of 2019, and this is with a 30, 45 day break, and I hear people all the time on YouTube um, that's been in this credit business way longer than me, but <laughs> they tell you, hey, we can't get the Wells Fargo's off, we can't get the Amex off, we can't get the Barclays off. We can't get the uh, the big companies, the capital ones. We can't get those big banks charged off off. Well, I did it, and that's why I have been deemed. I have been called. I have been crowned the queen of critic. It also comes with a lot of fatigue. I am. But I promised that I would do a live on um, the new FICO 10 uh, and the 10T and why your credit scores will drop this summer so if i do go live again on facebook it will be on my page not my personal page but my business page because i haven't been live on my business page but i will save and upload this video on youtube and so if you follow me on youtube as well uh, give me like 10 minutes and um, i'm about to go live in youtube so hey see you on youtube or if you follow me on periscope or instagram join me live sorry about that join me live